war zone 2 it is a trihackly room to learn the pcap file analysis and in my previous video i have shown how to triage the pcap file the malicious pcap file by using the tools like brim and wireshark and in today's video we are going to deal with the same stuff but only the log file changes in my previous video we did it we found it it was some mirror plus malware but today we are going to deal with a different sort of malware we are going to confirm it's a mal malicious traffic that's that is our uh, objective and you can see the description you received another ips ids alert time to triage the alert to determine if it's a true positive all right and uh, here you can see that task name task name another day another alert yes as i said it's a second exercise same kind of exercise and you can see the description you work as a tier one security analyst l1 for managed security service provider mssp again you are tasked with monitoring network alerts an alert triggered miscellaneous activity a network trojan was detected and potential corporate privacy violations and you can see the alert description and the case was assigned to you inspect the pcap and retrieve the artifacts to confirm the alert is a true positive so we have to make sure it's a malware traffic we have to uh, not make sure we have to confirm it's a malware traffic and you can see this alert titles from this title we can deduce that uh, it might be from a network trojan right okay you can see the list of tools it is pretty much same we are going to use the prim and wireshark tool in this exercise as we did in our previous one and uh, a file uh, a pcap file i connected to this machine and connected to the trihackness vpn and somehow managed to download the pcap file to analyze through the python http server and you can see the pcap file here we are going to load this file into prim and wireshark and gonna answer these questions let's begin that uh, first of all i'm going to load this file into a tool called brim and here you can see it is it started loading and i'm simply choosing this file and importing this zone 2.pk uh, it will take a while to load meanwhile i'll load the uh, wireshark the, the pk file into the wireshark so here you can see the zone 2.pk i am simply clicking it so that it will be loading that file into wireshark uh, let's see uh, it is still being loaded and the wireshark is already done let's read the question meanwhile the first question what was the alert signature for a network trojan was detected and they gave the alert title and they are asking for the alert signature let's go to the brim because we need brim in order to answer this and you can see this path string when i hover my cursor on this it is giving me a word path string so i'm just looking for the path string even type uh, here you can see uh, it changes actually when i hover it on the alert it, it, it gives me the event type event type is alert so i'm simply clicking this and right clicking and filtering this value so that it will be filtering all the alerts we have been received in this log file and uh, you may see the alert category here not suspicious traffic we can see bunch of not suspicious traffic and apart from that a potentially bad traffic alert and potential uh, a network trojan was detected and the miscellaneous activity we have seen this alert title already here miscellaneous activity network trojan detected and potential corporate policy violation we can see that too now what they are asking they are asking the alert signature for a network trojan was detected and uh, here you can see the alert network trojan was detected and you can see that column alert signature we have to choose this specific string here so this would be the alert signature and i am just copying this and pasting it here you can see it it gives the alert signature as et malware likely evil exe download from this specific uh, I'm, I'm not sure what this word is but non exe extension m2 so this is the alert signature and uh, when i submit that's the right answer and the next question is what was the alert signature for potential corporate policy violation the same thing but the different alert this time potential corporate virus privacy violation and uh, the alert signature is et policy pe exe or dll windows file download through http so that's what the alert signature 
and moving to the next question what was the ip to trigger either alert enter your answer in a defanged format so they are asking the ip address from which uh, these files download so let's see let's see what is the ip address so i am just checking the ip address against these alerts and you can see there is only one public ip address called 185.118.164.8 all right now let me paste this but we have to paste it in a defanged format and i am using cyberchef in order to defang the ip addresses and urls defanging is a great option to handle the uh, IOCs carefully. So I am simply calling the defang recipe and here I am defanging the IP address and in the output I can fetch the defanged one and I am submitting. That's the right answer. And moving to the next question. Provide the full URI for the malicious downloader file. In your answer defang the URL. All right. They are asking the full URL for the malicious downloader file so let me see the hint without hesitation so hint is uh, it is just simple cyberchef can be fine all right now i have to find the full url of the malicious downloader file okay now let me go to brim whether i can see any url here so i'm simply gonna filter this specific value let me filter it and uh, I'm removing the event type alert. HTTP request. So let me filter the HTTP request here. Um, yeah, when I click the HTTP request here in the brim, I can see bunch of URIs along with the domain names. Uh, here I need to filter that specific IP address, I suppose. So let me get that IP address 185.118. 1648 um uh, here i'm trying to find that ip address but yeah here it is 185.118.164.8 and i'm simply right clicking and filtering this value as well hope it will be giving me the respective result but it is not so i'm simply going one step back one step backward uh, scrolling down to the end so i'm just taking look taking look at this traffic uh, here you can see it has the domain name and also the uri string let me copy this one this would be the answer i guess so let me copy this copy this as well i'm simply appending this so this is the complete url and uh, i'm ignoring the http colon double slash here and uh, defanging the url this time so let me defang that url here's the defang form so i'm pasting this over here that's the right answer all right and what is the name of the payload within the cap file so they are asking the name of the payload in the cap file so the name of the payload is gap one dot cap and uh, let me give that same thing here gap one dot cap and submit is the wrong answer so I'm just referring the hint here. It says extract the file from pcap, get the hash, then hop to virus total. All right. Now I need to grab the specific gap1.gap file and I need to detect the hash of this file. All right. Let me go to Bioshock this time. And this time I am going to search for this specific IP address. So let me copy that IP address from here so that I'll be able to paste this ip.dst equal equal the IP address. All right, here you can see the request sent to grab this gap1.cap file. I'm simply, I, I simply got this file. Now, in order to export the files from the HTTP traffic, either you can follow the HTTP stream and you can manually copy this one and paste it on the file or else you can go to file export objects HTTP. Uh, it will be giving the list of files present in the 
web traffic. Now I can see the first file. So this is the file we need, cap1.cap. At this point, I can simply click save and save this to a specific directory. Here you can see the downloaded file. Let me rename this to gap one dot gap. But this is not the file's real name. Let me fetch the hash value of this file. I'm gonna search this specific hash in a virus total to grab the real name of the file. But before that, let me check the actual type of file. Actual file type. Uh, here you can see the description. It's a PE32 executable, and you can see the bracket in, in bracket. It's a DLL file, dynamic link library. It is not an executable, but it's a dynamic link library, uh, which is used by the other executables. All right. Now, let me grab this hash value and get into virus total. And here you can see 55 security vendors out of 71 detecting the, this as a malicious one. And from this description, you can, you can see it, it, it's a kind of Trojan. And I cannot see the name of the Trojan conclusively because it, it, it differs in various security vendors. But it almost matches with the name Banker in most of the places. All right, now let me move to the details. Scrolling down further, I can see the names, the actual name of this file. Gap1.cab is our one name and you can see draw.dll and here in the, in the, the number of uh, characters here, four characters and the extension has three characters. So it matches with this draw.dll. So let me grab this draw.dll and submit and that's the right answer and the next question what is the user agent associated with this network traffic so let's go to wireshark directly to find the user agent and here i am in the different thing so let me grab this specific filter again and here i can see the http request and following the http stream and i can see the user agent detail here and it's a mozilla firefox and the windows system uh, let me paste it here so and submit yes that's the right answer moving to the next question what other domains do you see in network traffic that are labeled as malicious by virus total enter the domains defanged and in alphabetical order and they are asking the other domains do you see in the network traffic that are labeled as Wireshark in, uh, that, are, that are labeled as Wireshark. Okay. So here in Wireshark, to see the domain name of the specific IP address, we can go to the option view and uh, here the name resolution and resolve the network address. When you check this, you will be seeing the domain name of that specific IP address. You can see one name over here and they're asking for the other names as well. Um, what are the other domain names do you see in the network traffic that are, the, that are labeled as malicious by virus tool? Let's see the hint. Check the miscellaneous activity alert in BRIM. Private chef can define. So they're asking us to check the miscellaneous activity alert in BRIM. So we'll be able to fetch the IP address, I suppose. But let's 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 confirm that. So I'm removing every filter here, choosing the alert alone. And here miscellaneous activity. I can see apart from this 185.118 IP, there are there is another IP called 176.119.156.120. I'm copying I'm copying this IP and uh, gonna search that IP in the Wireshark. So let's see. So this is the IP. Uh, yes. 
here I can see a destination domain knockoutlights.com so I am simply copying this knockout lights uh, the domain name so I hope here I can do that let me copy this one copy the selected three item okay I am going to virus total and search for this domain and uh, yeah you can see this specific domain is flagged as malicious in virus total so this is one domain we need and we need to find another domain but we don't know what it is because if you see the virus total uh, till the, i mean i'm scrolling to the traffic till the end i can see only one domain here but going to the details i guess in relations or community let me seeing the domain name details detection details dns yeah here it is in the subdomains it only give the same domain name knockoutlights.com there is I mean it is not giving the other name but we can we know the ip address uh, it is nothing but 176.119.156.120 so let me filter the dns traffic sometimes if you are unable to find that specific domain name in a http traffic you can search for the dns traffic because before establishing a http connection it will be querying the dns right so let me let, let's try to find that so here you can see uh, uh, i chose that specific traffic it has the ip address of uh, you know the ip address that we are already dealing with 176.119.156.128 belongs to miscellaneous activity and you can see the domain name a hyphen z corner.com so that's what that that might be the domain name we are looking for so let me copy that name here in clipboard um uh, yeah where is that domain name yeah here is the query yeah domain name i found i'm simply copying that selected item let me paste it in a in a notepad so this is a domain name and another domain name is knockoutlights.com now I have to convert it to into defined format so i am using cyberchef to do that and i am defining the url so here is the defined format let me enter this yeah that's the right answer moving to the next one there are ip addresses flagged as not suspicious not suspicious traffic what are the ip addresses enter your name in the numerical ad so it gave the not suspicious traffic flag so i need to go to brim again and here i can see in the alert category some of the alerts categorized as not suspicious traffic so let me sort that here it is and uh, i need to find the ip addresses belongs to this not sus not suspicious traffic so let me get this so this is one ip 64 225 65 one double six that is an ip and uh, there is another ip here 149 142 93 211 and 26 so this is another ip so i have to enter this in a numerical order so also i need to define these ip addresses and uh, here i am defining, defining it with the defang ip addresses and uh, got the defanged form yes that's the right answer moving to the next question for the first ip address flagged as not suspicious traffic this ip address according to virus total there are several domains associated with this one ip address with this ip address they are talking and that was flagged as malicious okay what were the domains who spotted in the network traffic associated with that ip address and uh, we also need to look for this ip address in the network traffic enter your answer in the defanged format and actually we need to look for the other domain names 
for this specific IP address. All right. Now I'm copying this IP address and moving to virus total again, going to search for that IP address. Um, I can see one security vendor out of 96 flag this as malicious and moving to the details section don't see any domain names but here in the relations section I can see the list of domains and you can see in the detection section there are four entries with detection and anti top ul certification dot xyz Tosi Camber, I don't know how to pronounce this, dot xyz and safe bank test dot top. So these are the four domains uh, with some detections and uh, we have to look for this IP addresses in the network traffic as well. So that's what they gave here. And let's look for the IP address in the network traffic, uh, whether we see any juicy stuff or not. I'm looking for the destination with this IP. Uh, I need to convert it to the, I mean, I need to enable the name resolution. So here you can see one URL, UL certification dot XYZ. And we already found this UR domain here uh, in this list. Let me go backward. This relations, yeah. UL certification dot XYZ. But here in the answer, we can see three URLs, three domains are required. But when I look at this, packet capture, I can see only one uh, domain is present here. We don't, I mean, I don't see the another domain for this IP address. But now what I can do as I don't see the other traffic, instead of uh, looking for the HTTP, I'm simply gonna search. So this is a, a HTTPS traffic. You can see the TLS. Um, I'm, I'm just going to search for the DNS because uh, you will be seeing the DNS traffic, uh, you know, in, in every web, uh, uh, you know, web network traffic because before reaching that HTTP server, the domain resolution is important, right? So I am simply filtering the DNS and here I can see the bunch of domain names. You can see it here, uh, you know, in the info section and I, I can see that EAZ co uh, corner com, which we already see and I'm simply scrolling down. I'm looking for this IP address only. 64.225.65.166 and that's the IP address we need to check for and that the respective domain names for that IP. You can see the, the domain name safe bank test dot top and another domain T O C S I camber dot X Y Z. This is another domain and we already seen this domain in the HTTPS traffic UL certification dot X Y Z. So these are the three domains we need and uh, i'm simply clicking this traffic and going to this uh, query section to copy the domain name simply copying the selected items pasting it in a notepad um, the next one copying this in the same manner uh, let me go to this one yeah here copying the visible selected item and the next one ul certification dot xyz same stuff copying the selected one now i managed to fetch the domain names associated with that 64.225.65.166 ip all right now i need to assemble this domain names in the alphabetical order so let me do that straightforward And here is the domain order. Now I need to defang these domains. So let me copy and paste it here. I need to defang the domain names this time, URLs this time. So this is the defanged form. Pasting it, that's the correct answer. And the last question now for the second IP marked as not suspicious traffic. What was the domain you spotted in the network traffic associated with this IP address? Enter your answer in the defined form. Now they are asking for the domain name of, I mean, the domain name for this specific 142.93.211.176 IP. Now let me copy this IP. Before looking it in the network traffic, I'm just gonna search this in virus total just to uh, ensure whether it's a malicious one or not. 
uh yes it is malicious the same one security vendor out of 96 flagged it as malicious all right now moving to the network traffic ip dot dst equals to the ip address to filter that specific destination and here i can see the destination name as i have already enabled that the name resolution for the network address i am seeing the domain name here and it is two parts cow dot top let me type that two parts cow dot top so this is the answer but i need to put it in the defanged form and uh, yes with this we accomplished analyzing the specific uh, pcap file and here in this video we have analyzed the packet capture of a uh, trojan a remote access trojan and hope you really enjoyed this is what uh, this is what i actually wanted to explain uh, if you really like this video uh, please consider subscribing my channel and also if you have any other opinion you can add it in the comment section so i'll be reading your valuable questions and uh, i'll be answering those and uh, yeah you can also share this video among your friends i'll catch you next time with uh, another exciting video until then i'm signing off cheers and uh, i love you all thank you so much